Let's bake some moist and delicious red velvet cupcakes today. These taste great with cream cheese frosting, buttercream or whipped chocolate ganache. Hello dear friends and welcome to Kitchen Compass. First let's prepare the buttermilk. Into a bowl add in half cup of milk that is lukewarm. Add in 2 teaspoons of vinegar. Stir well and leave it aside for 10 minutes. Into a bowl add in 1 cup of maida, half teaspoon of baking soda, half teaspoon salt and 1 tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder. Mix well and keep it aside. Before starting with the batter preparation, preheat the oven at the baking temperature for 10 minutes. Into a larger mixing bowl, add in 1 egg, 150 grams of sugar and 90 milliliters of oil. Any flavorless oil can be used. Using a hand mixer, beat well for 3 to 4 minutes until it turns creamy. Into this, add half teaspoon of vanilla extract and the prepared buttermilk. Blend them well. The reaction between the cocoa powder, buttermilk and vinegar gives the cupcakes a reddish tint. For a deeper color, add in the red food coloring. Into the wet ingredients, Sieve in the dry ingredients and fold them well. The dry ingredients can be added in batches. Fold the dry ingredients well until well incorporated into the batter. If using the hand mixer, use it at the lowest speed. Take care not to overbeat the batter. This batter works well both as cupcakes and as a cake. For a cake, you can bake it in a 6 inch cake tin. From this measurement, you will get around 12 large cupcakes. Line the cupcake tray with liners. Spoon in the batter till about 3 fourth of the mold. Bake them at 140 to 160 degrees centigrade as per your oven for 20 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. 
I generally bake cupcakes at 150 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes in the bake mode that is with the lower rod on and fan on and then bake them at 160 degrees on the toast mode that is both rods and fan on till baked completely. The cupcakes have baked well. Keep them in the tray for 2-3 to three minutes and then transfer them onto a wire rack. Allow them to cool down completely before frosting them. Red velvets also taste great with cream cheese frosting. Please see my carrot cake with cream cheese frosting video for the cream cheese frosting recipe. The link is given in the description box. For the whipped white chocolate ganache, I have taken 130 ml of non-dairy whipping cream. I have also finely grated 30 grams of white chocolate. To the grated white chocolate, add 1 tablespoon of whipping cream. Melt the chocolate and cream on a double boiler, stirring constantly till the chocolate has melted. Take it off the flame and allow it to cool down completely. Meanwhile, add the remaining whipping cream to a large bowl and beat it well with the hand mixer, starting at a low speed and gradually increasing the speed. Whip till the cream attains stiff peaks. It is important to thaw the whipping cream completely before whipping it. This helps in getting a better whipped consistency for the cream. Add in the melted and cooled chocolate ganache and whip the cream once again till smooth. The frosting is ready. If not using immediately, cover with a cling wrap and keep refrigerated. Once the cupcakes have cooled down completely, frost the cupcakes as per your choice. The delicious red velvet cupcakes are ready. Please do try this recipe and thanks for watching.